Hi guys, I showed you I picked up this little racing car in a charity shop. Uh, it's got batteries in it. So it does that. And if we press the other button, it does that. And at the front, it's got some sort of steering. It's broken, but there is this arm that goes across. So I'm going to take it apart and have a look. I don't think it's worth trying to repair it. There's too many broken bits missing. But it'll be interesting to see what this steering is for. I did think it had got no manufacturer details on it, but just there, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It does actually say New Ray, N-E-W-R-A-Y. So, manufactured by New Ray, or sold by New Ray. So, we'll take it apart and have a look what's inside. But I'm not planning to put it back together again. When I first saw it in the shop, I thought it was radio controlled, but I don't think it is. I think it's just push those buttons to activate the features. Right, well those back two just held the, that would have been the wing on the back, wouldn't it? Okay, so that's the body shell and the two buttons. So under here, electric motor, that's where the Buttons would press. It's actually written on the circuit board there. New Ray 0092A, revision 1.0, December the 15th, 2004. So 14 years old. But that's steering, which is what I really wanted to have a look at. It's not um, anything triggered by the sound effect or anything. Now I see you can actually set it. So that's got teeth there so you could have to set it so it always goes left or always goes right or goes straight ahead. But the um, these bits are broken off. In fact, there was only one of them. The other one's completely miss missing. If I had a push, I could mend it. I could glue that back on there and I could try and make another little 
L-shaped piece to go on the other one. But I don't think I will. I think I'll just finish taking this apart for parts. So we've got a speaker, 8 ohm, quarter watt, and then there'll be on the other side of there I expect a black blob sound effect chip. Little motor which will have some gears on it. Nice rubber tires, so it's probably worth keeping just for the spare tires. We have actually got a reduction effect. Gear on the motor drives that gear, so small to big and then small to big. Yep. I'll put that in a little bag of suitable spare parts, but I'm not going to bother putting it back together. That was the bit I was interested in, the adjustable steering. I said I wasn't going to bother fixing it, but I couldn't resist just seeing if I can make it go in a straight line. So I've got a little bit of yellow plastic there, that's a plastic toothpick. I put super glue where I want it to join, and then I'm also sprinkling baking powder on it. Uh, where are I? Baking powder. that just gives it a bit of body to stiffen it up a bit. I could have just glued the actual pivots in place but I thought I'd do it this way so I can potentially still use it properly. you can chip this back off again. Hardly worth the effort. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.